Hello, and welcome to day four of expressing yourself through music and art. I'm Kenna. This is step one of day four, where I ask you the question, what do you see when you look out the window? So what I want you to do is find a place to sit comfortably, either in front of a window or close by a window. I want you to close your eyes and take three deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. As always, let's do this together. So, as always, I want you to notice how your body feels when you breathe in and out. And when you're done, open your eyes, of course, and look out the window. What do you see? Is there a building or a house close by? Uh, do you see the sky? What color is it? Are there birds? Are there trees? What grabs you? Take a picture if you can, or even just a mental picture. Here's a picture of what I saw. So grab some paper and a pen again and write at the top, my window. And with the picture of your window in front of you or in front of the window itself, come up with four chords that sound like how you feel when you look out your window. Now myself, I feel really happy when I look out my window. So I played around with the chords that make me feel happy. They're good ones. I picked G. F, C, and then back to G. All right, play your chords in your right hand and repeat them each four times. Here we go. G, one, two, three, four. F, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. All right, now add the root note of each chord to your left hand. Here we go. G, F, C, G. All right, we are now going to add a rhythm to our left hand notes that you can play under each of the chords. I'm going to play the left hand notes with the first repetition of the chord. Here we go. And then sandwich the last chord repetition with two more left hand notes. So the pattern goes like this. Chord plus note, two chords on their own, then one note, then one chord, then one last note. All right, then just tighten up, and that becomes our rhythm. Do that pattern for each of the chords, and you have what sounds to me like a happy little song. Here we go. One more time. All right, grab some paper and a pen again. And for this exercise, I'm gonna use squares because I love them. They're multi-use, aren't they? All right, uh, and those are gonna be my right hand chords. So I just write the names of the chords because we're repeating them four times. And then F, F, F. And then I use dashes to show the left hand rhythm. So like that, and then in between that, and so on. So. Next up, of course, is going to be decorating. Ah, oh, we did it again. We're at step five, decorating your song. So as I always suggest, glue, scissors, and some colored paper. I chose green. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out shapes that depict what you see out your window. Now, happily, I saw trees out my window, so I am going to cut out some shapes of some leaves. There we go. Maybe a few more. There we go. All right. Then get your notation. I have my finished product here. And so what I did is I have my notation here. And then I just took all of these little pieces of leaves and I just glued them to 
different places on the piece of paper and then I took some more colored paper and made a window frame called it my window and there we go you're done well there you have it that's it for day four of expressing yourself through music and art I hope you enjoyed yourself like I said before, you don't have to share anything with me if you don't want to. You can keep these crafts and songs for just you. Be yourself and follow the notes where they take you. And remember, breathe, be in the moment, and have fun. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below this video, find me on Instagram, or go to uh, my website, kennabarima.com. See you next time for our fifth and final day of songwriting exercises where I ask you, how would you like to change the world? See you later.